Hi, you're with Chandeep and... <coughs> okay. <coughs> All right. Hi, you're with Chandeep and Goodly once again and wish you guys a very, very happy new year. Now, in case you have been wondering that why haven't I been creating videos uh, lately and why there is a lot of silence on the channel, it's because uh, about two months ago, I took a two months long vacation in India and I traveled here just to celebrate new year along with my family and my friends. And towards the end of the vacation, about last week or so, I got COVID positive. <laughs> and I'm absolutely fine as of now. I just have a little itchy throat and I cough once in a while, but mostly I'm absolutely fine. And since then I have been confined to this little room that you can see and I stay here and I just spend all my time here until I get better and I go back to Dubai. Now, I thought it won't be a bad idea to start creating videos once again. And to start this particular year, I've got you a very interesting power query challenge. Let's go. All right. I hope you can take a look at my screen. This challenge, I'm calling this as promoting double headers in a data set. So please take a look at this. I have a very, very simple data, uh, which is where I have a couple of columns, but the columns accidentally have double headers. Minute. Columns accidentally have double headers and those are in two different rows. So if you take a look at the first header, the first header is product code, but unfortunately the product is in row number two and the word code is in row number three. Now we have to concatenate these two rows and form a single header out of these two headers that we have. Now there can also be merged headers. So if you take a look at on the far right, we have order, which is a merge cell. And underneath that merge cells, we have the sale date and the due date. So now the concatenated header should be order sales date and order due date. That's how the header should be. Now, it's a very simple problem. All that you would want to do is concatenate these two rows to form a single header and clean up the data. All that we have to do is just actually clean up the headers. Now, there is a bit of uh, tweak in this particular challenge just in case if the number of rows which contain the headers increases to three, your query should be sufficiently easy to alter and to edit to accommodate for that little change. So in case we have three rows of headers, we can just specify three somewhere in the query very easily and it should actually concatenate not to first two rows, but actually first three rows and make that as a single header for the entire data. All right, so that's the data. Please go ahead and download the data and start solving the problem. Uh, answers are supposed to be posted on the blog comments. Uh, feel free to just post the answers. In fact, I posted this particular problem back in December, but I absolutely forgot to create a video out of it. And since then, a lot of people have already supplied answers. In case you are not able to crack this problem, you might also want to take a look at some very interesting answers that people have posted. And we'll discuss this in the coming week. Just like the world just like the way that we always do it, I'm gonna give a big shout out to everybody who posts the right answer and I'm gonna discuss my solution with you guys very soon. Thanks so much for watching this and I will catch you guys in the next one. Tschüss and bye-bye.